today I'm going to give you a little update about my Fresh Forge Guider 2. I have been using it for about 5 weeks to start with. Uh, I promised to show you what's inside the extruder, so let's do that. Uh, let me grab some tools first. If you are used to taking apart the Mark 10, you are in for a real treat. Uh, let's take a look. So first I'm going to uh, remove these two screws here. So um, this is uh, how it looks like when you take it apart. Um, I, I don't have any jam yet, so I don't need to unclog it. But if you have a jam, it's pretty easy to just uh, take it out and uh, unclog the jams. And let's put it back. Oh, right, and this thing in the front is the servo motor, it's for the auto leveling. This thing. Now let's move on to pros and cons. I have been using it, as I said, for about five weeks. And um, I have printing for about 233 hours. Uh, that's not as many as other uh, people, I, I guess, but I printed a lot of the models. But uh, these are all comes out from the Guider 2 and it is really reliable. I didn't even have any jam. There was one time I have a, a knock here and I was like it's gonna jam but it didn't. I was surprised. Let, let me put this aside first. Okay let's move on to the counts. Um, you know Flashforge, I love you but there are two problems you need to address. The first one is about bad leveling. Um, remember from my last video, it's a bit tricky to level the bed, but once it is level, you will find you might find your prints aren't sticking too well to the bed. Because that's because after auto leveling, uh, the hot end is still too far from the uh, from the bed, so you need to bring it closer. Uh, the, the solution is simple. You just need to turn the screws underneath uh, about a quarter turn. And then the extruder will uh, get closer to the bed and then it will stick to it just fine. But if you don't know that, it can be really frustrating. I really wish there was a way to solve this problem in the software. That would be great if you can do that. The second problem is about wireless printing. I have been using it at home. It has been great and reliable, but I don't think that's suitable for school or library because there is no authentication so every kid in school if they are connected to the uh, the school network they will have access if they know your IP address they have access to send out their prints to your printer to the guider to who knows what they will do they might think of doing a little prank 
in the schools. There was no way to find out who did that. So um, I think they need to fix this problem. Those are the two problems I have. I'm comfortable recommending it. The hardware is great, but I would like to see the software problems get fixed in the future. Overall, I'm happy about it. Uh, if you have any addition questions, uh, please leave it, leave it at the comment section and let me know. I will try my best to uh, answer them. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.